Hi guys, welcome back to the Miscalculations of Lightning Girl video series. I'm the author Stacy McAnulty. This video is for readers who have finished chapters 7, 8, and 9. So, where are we in the book? Lucy has um, finished her first day of school and she's reviewing it for Nana. Lucy's not that impressed with middle school at this point. She also talks to Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul gives her the wondrous advice of fake it until you make it. Lucy doesn't feel like she fits in, so he's saying fake it like you do fit in it and things will be better. Is that great advice? Is Lucy hearing the advice that way? I don't know. So I, I get the idea of being confident, you know, fake it till you make it. So pretend that you are awesome at something and eventually you will be awesome. That's kind of the idea behind it. But it takes a little bit more than that. You can't, you know, I can't just, you know, pretend to be an NBA player. I mean, there's got to be practice and um, all sorts of things have to fall in line. But I can be more confident about my basketball abilities and maybe that will help me become a better basketball player. So that's what Uncle Paul is really getting at there. And we got to see if Lucy's really picking up on that. And again, do you guys think that's a good idea? All right. The other thing I want to talk about in this and in, in for these chapters is Lucy kind of makes the decision that she's going to hide her genius. You know, she's taken the math test. She purposely gets some wrong. A little bit with the assistance of, of looking at uh, Levi's paper, but she is going to get some wrong on purpose because she doesn't want to stick out as a math genius. Huh. How do you feel about this idea that she is hiding who she is? Now, Lucy, as part of being an acquired savant, has OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. You've seen this many times now. She sits, stands, sits, stands, finally sits. She taps her toe three times um, when she stops walking. Um, she also has the, the number OCD where she's repeating the digits of pi in her head if she doesn't do these sit, stand routines or the, tap, the toe tapping routine. So the sit, stand, sit, stand, sit routine, she can't hide that from her classmates. They see that. You know, she can't just power through OCD. She, you know, that she the class is seeing this. But her math genius, her wired her calculator wired brain, she doesn't have to show this side of her. It makes her different from her classmates and that makes her uncomfortable. So she decides by kind of throwing that test that she is not going to show off this math genius in hopes that she is trying to appear more like a regular seventh grade student. That is, that is, that is her thought. Is that a good thought? I don't know. I can tell you um, the book title, of course, is The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl. That was not my working title. My working title for this book, like while I was writing it on this computer and the, when I was saving the file, the working title was dumb because she is going to go to middle school and play dumb. Now she's not really playing dumb. She's just not showing off her genius, which is also can be considered a dumb idea. So that was my working title for the book was playing with this idea that um, Lucy just not showing who she truly is and, and pretending to be um, less than she has, at least math wise. So that's um, a little bit about chapters seven, eight, and nine. Now it's your turn to go off and read 10, 11, 12, and we will gather back together. Happy reading!